Hi, I'm Miles Michaelis, professional pitcher, and I'm here to talk to you today about mechanics from the windup. The first thing you need to know about pitching from the windup is that you want to start with your feet on the rubber square to the plate, like this, with the ball hidden inside your glove. When you want to start moving to the plate, all you need is a small step backwards. Some guys like to take a big step. When you take a big step, you immediately lose your center of balance. So a nice slow step back, turn your foot inside the rubber, and then come up to your balance position. It's important to have a good balance position so your location to the plate and your pitches is always on target. Once you've reached the balance point, you'll stride towards home plate, breaking your hands like this and up into the throwing position. And it's very important to step directly towards the plate so you don't fall off the side of the mound towards first base and you don't fall towards third base. You wanna keep your momentum all going towards the plate to maximize your velocity. Once you land in the throwing position, it's important to finish through the plate and end up in a good fielding position in case there's a bunt or a ball hit sharply right back at you. One little tip I use to keep a good line to the plate is when I'm warming up, I like to draw a line just with my foot into the dirt on the mound. And then when I'm done throwing, I can look at my footprints and if they're to the left or the right of the line that I drew, then I know that I'm stepping a little bit to either side of my body. So once you put it all together, this is what it would look like. Small step back, turn the foot, balance point, turn and throw. Now once you practice, you start to speed it up a little bit to find your rhythm. A lot of guys will like to count in their head and it's usually about a four count. One, two, three, and four. And some guys, you can break it into five, you know, three, four, five, six count, anything more than that. There's too many moving parts. So one more time, it's good practice to say it out loud is one, two, three, four, five, and throw. And see how I finish in a balanced position in case the ball is hit squarely back at me. It's important when you're drawing your line to the plate that you draw it from the ball of your foot when you turn next to the rubber. So the ball of my foot's here, so I take it, draw a nice straight line to keep it there, and you want your step back to be just a little bit of a step. I like to keep my left foot off this side of the rubber just in case there's a big step down. So you take just that little step back so you can turn, get to your balance point, and fire one. Show you one more time. Small step, turn, in line with the plate, and strike. And it's also possible if stepping straight back doesn't work for you, you can take a small step to the side and back. So you kind of rock back that way and then up into your balance point. But you don't want to take a, a huge rock like that, just right to the side and up and throw. <laughs> 